Hello friends and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to solve a problem based on to the understanding that we have made into the chapter titled Linear Prediction and Optimum Linear Filters. Hence, the topic name is Problem 1, Linear Prediction and Optimum Linear Filters. In this current chapter, we have understood various concepts in order to have learning the design issues related to the linearity for prediction as well as the optimumness into the filters here. So the understanding was right from the representation of the stationary random process along with the forward and backward type of the linearity for the prediction here and for the optimumness the design of the winner filter of FIR as well as the IIR type here. Now in this problem we will be associated with the special type the very special type of the discrete time random process which is called as AR process or two regressive process. So let us begin to start with what is the problem statement and how do we find solution or whatever it is required to be asked here. So let us start with. So here we start with the topic. The topic is actually solving a problem based on to the linear prediction and optimum linear filters. Here we go with the problem statement that starts as the power density spectrum of an AR process X of N is given as we have gamma suffix XX of W that is equal to sigma suffix W squared divided by the mod square of A of W which is equal to 25 divided by the mod square of 1 minus e to the power j minus j omega added by 1 upon 2 e to the power minus j twice omega here where the sigma suffix w sigma is squared is the variance of the input sequence here. So now see in the given problem statement we have been provided the expression for the power density spectrum or power spectral density you call and here it is denoted by capital gamma suffix xx of omega here so omega or w so omega is actually referring to the angular frequency here and this is with respect to the discrete time random process which is of the special type autoregressive hence we call it to be the ar process here so these are the given details and now we move on to see the exact problem statement that is uh, requiring us to be finding solution for few of the things here. So here we have the first part. In the first part we are asked to determine the difference equation for generating the AR process when the excitation is white noise. See here the condition is put up to determine the difference equation for generating the AR process. Whereas in the part B we are asked to determine the system function for the whitening filter. So this is what the complete problem statement here. Now we shall focus on to finding solution to part A. So in the part A we require to determine the difference equation for generating the AR process for the input to be of white noise type here. So here we have the expression for the power spectral density gamma sub x xx of z that is equal to 25 divided by in the denominator here we will be writing in the first bracket 1 minus z inverse added by 1 by 2 into z to the power minus 2 bracket is completed and it is further multiplied to 1 minus z to the power minus 1 added by 1 by 2 into z to the power minus 2. Whereas the filter function here we denote capital H of z to be equal to 1 upon 1 minus z inverse added by 1 by 2 into z to the power minus 2 and here we have been provided the value of sigma suffix omega squared the variance here that is equal to 25 here. So therefore the required difference equation for the AR discrete time random process for the input to be of the white noise here we express x of n is equal to x of n minus 1 minus 1 by 2 into 
x of n minus 2 added by w of n here so this is what the solution to part a of the problem statement now next we move on to find solution to the part b here so for part b we will simply write the whitening filter is denoted h inverse of z which is equal to 1 minus z to the power minus 1 plus 1 by 2 times z to the power minus 2 so this will be the straightforward simple solution to the part b of the problem statement here so this was our problem one based on to the understanding of linear prediction and optimum linear filters our 18th video so by the next video the 19th one we shall be having a practice of another problem based on to the understanding of again the current chapter linear prediction and optimum linear filters thank you